Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading equities, futures, and cryptocurrencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, there's a free trial that comes with education. Uh, there's an educational course that we walk you through. That's a four-part series. Uh, and then uh, that is all backed up and supported within the live advanced order flow webinars uh, every day. Uh, they occur at uh, 11 Eastern, so in about um, uh, 28 minutes or so. Okay. Uh, there are other resources as well, and then uh, you can reach out to us at support at bookmap if you have any, um, any questions. Okay. Uh, let's go through the website quickly. Uh, for those of you who are new here, okay, some intro videos as we scroll down at bookmap.com. Information about the platform. Ah, so next week, uh, this is usually the um, the link uh, uh, that uh, you can sign up for uh, the webinars. Uh, there, there will be no webinars next week uh, due to the holidays. Uh, it's just uh, market action is slow. Uh, there's really uh, uh, no... Uh, um, uh, nothing really good to cover. Uh, we want to see the insight in the order flow, so uh, we'll we'll hold off next week, and uh, and then in the new year we'll begin again. All right. So um, let's uh, scroll down here. Um, the uh, bookmap for equities. Okay, you can uh, access all U.S. equities in bookmap now. There's a really nice data feed with Dev experts. Uh, you can read about the advantages here. Okay, and then other ways to connect. Okay, this is um, uh, how uh, you can uh, connect Bookmap to the live markets. Now we are a, a software trading platform. So is Ninja Trader, so is TTX Trader Pro, and so is Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. We connect via the API of these three platforms. However, we are a platform just as they are. So you can connect Bookmap directly uh, with CQG data, rhythmic data, gain capital, IQ feed, and transact, as well as the dev experts for, uh, you know, the NASDAQ total view uh, in all, all U.S. equities. Okay, and uh, soon we're going to have cryptocurrencies. Okay, so that's with the new release. It's coming out in uh, mid-January. Uh, we're really excited about it, and I can show you uh, some of the cryptocurrencies today. Okay. Here's that 14-day trial period uh, under a free trial here. Uh, there's basic, advanced, and quant versions. Uh, truly, there's only one version of Bookmap. It's $49 per month, billed quarterly, 14-day trial period. You get uh, the advanced. It's the same as basic. It just includes add-on features, Okay, the one-click trading right from the Bookmap chart, uh, as well as a host of other proprietary indicators we have put together. Okay, these indicators uh, are exclusive, uh, looking directly at order flow, and not only order flow, but also uh, uh, starting to decipher the players at these specific price levels. That's what the large lot tracker does, and that's what the iceberg detector does. Okay, I mean, there's basically uh, uh, those that are using the iceberg orders or hidden orders are larger players because they have lots of liquidity and they don't want to show uh, that in the limit order book, okay? Well, we have an indicator that will uh, detect uh, when uh, larger players are using these orders to disguise their position, uh, but we can we can understand and gain insight, insight to it. Okay, there are also some uh, imbalance indicators here. Uh, so uh, uh, for the order book, uh, as well as for the volume okay, and a correlation tracker. All right. If you're new to Bookmap, um, you can reach out, uh, and if you if you need a data feed, you can click here, all right, and uh, get a free trial of data. This will uh, dovetail nicely with a free trial of Bookmap for 14 days. Uh, that's if you're new uh, to these markets uh, and uh, and don't have a broker or data feed right now. Okay. If you can't decide which one's right for you, which Bookmap version, you can click here and see the complete list. Uh, quants, uh, just click here and uh, reach out to us. Uh, we know that uh, you'll have your specific needs and, and we work with several quants uh, to meet their specific needs, connecting their own data, their own indicators, etc. Okay. 
Uh, let's see, partners and support. Okay, that's uh, the that's the website. Uh, the um, social media. Okay, you can follow us here uh, on uh, uh, Twitter at under under at bookmap underscore pro. Uh, get the latest information. Uh, what's uh, going on in Bookmap? Uh, you can see a few here. Uh, a couple of GIF images, and you can see the uh, the markets here. Um, this is a, a really good example of uh, the uh, ignition algo. Okay, uh, so um, anyway, uh, we can go over ignition algos if you have any questions. Happy to do it. Uh, usually, this is more geared for the advanced uh, webinar. That uh, this is it's just very very clear example here. Uh, it's a spoofing type of activity, uh, but um, uh, anyway, uh, it's very easily visualized in Bookmap. Uh, let's jump over to the YouTube channel. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel, and um, there are many videos here. Uh, maybe start with this playlist. You can click on the playlist sub or uh, title here, and there are um, there are not too many uh, uh, intro videos that uh, to watch. Uh, there are several features and components videos to understand what Bookmap is, how to use these features. Uh, and then the video snippets. Now this this content here goes over uh, the uh, order flow phenomena. Okay, so this is really where uh, the learning takes place. Uh, start to understand what you're looking at in Bookmap and how it can aid in your trading. Okay, because we can clearly visualize a lot of the phenomena here uh, in these markets. Uh, identify them, and then um, you you'll start to see uh, uh, advantages. Uh, to uh, understanding these contact these um, concepts and then being able to uh, wrap strategies around them. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, today's Friday. Uh, I'll, I'll give you guys the link to the um, uh, advanced uh, order flow um, webinar. Okay. Just a minute here. I'll give you that because. Uh, just to give, if you want to peek into uh, what we go through uh, in those uh, in those webinars, so there you go. It's in the chat box there. So click on that, and then you can uh, uh, register and uh, uh, have access to the uh, advanced order flow webinars. Now, uh, please note the um, those webinars uh, are geared for those who uh, want more insight in understanding uh, the order flow. Okay, it's for current customers. Uh, I will not answer a lot of, uh, if it's slow, I'll answer some of the questions on the platform, uh, but um, uh, it's much more uh, involved into understanding market moves and uh, order flow. All right. Okay. Uh, so let's, um, let's jump into these markets and uh, take a look here. Okay. We're looking at the NASDAQ, just some sideways action here. Um, you know, so based on that, I'm going to jump into and we're going to look at uh, uh, Bitcoin, right? Because uh, this is going to be part of the new uh, version 7 release. And this is this is version 7 right here. This is what you're looking at. Uh, and um, all right, I haven't haven't done a demo on this one yet. Um, so uh, let's let's do it. Uh, let's take a look here. All right. So what are we looking at here uh, in the book map chart in the cryptocurrencies? Right. It uh, looks like a pretty odd chart. There's all sorts of different things going on here. It looks very noisy. It's actually not. It's really, really simple stuff. Okay. Uh, there's only three elements on this chart. Historical best bid and offer. The volume dots here. That uh, The volume that traded on that historical best bid and offer. And then you see this heat map here. Okay. Now this is the new colored heat map in version 7. Uh, it's not available at this moment, but it will be shortly, okay, in another uh, uh, three weeks or so. Okay, so uh, the heat map, what is it showing you? Well, um, uh, I'll get into that in just a minute, but uh, let's start stripping off this data here, and let's just put on a candlestick chart, uh, and uh, I'm going to go through here and show you uh, that uh, uh, just the concept of a candlestick chart is actually uh, more complex than uh, uh, what Bookmap is showing you, okay? Because uh, uh, Bookmap is actually uh, just showing you a very, very. It's not an indicator. It's um, uh, there is no indi I mean, we do have indicators uh, and add-ons, 
we do have an indicator subpanel for cumulative volume delta. Okay, so we do have indicators, but uh, we are very, very what we're what we're presenting here is a very clear and objective view of the marketplace. Okay, it's the it's the most uh, objective view I, I, I've ever seen uh, of that uh, marketplace. So uh, let's take a look at a five minute candlestick chart here, and we'll just uh, simplify it. Okay, now why is a candlestick chart? I mean, this looks much simpler, right? Uh, why is this um, uh, more complex? Oof, I've got the uh, VWAP indicator as well. So let's take those off. Um, the um, okay. The reason that uh, uh, this is more complex uh, is because uh, this is uh, uh, a derivative of of price, time, and volume. Okay, uh, just like an indicator. Uh, and why is that? It's because this is all aggregated data. Okay. It's a five-minute period of open, high, low, and close, and that's it. There's only four data points within one of these bars. And uh, we don't have any sort of insight or transparency into what occurred within that five-minute period. And we have no insight to where the volume traded within that five-minute period. Okay, So uh, that's, a, that's a problem here. Uh, it's lacking a lot of transparency. Uh, so just simply uh, by put, placing here historical best bid and offer onto the chart, uh, we can solve the issue here of uh, not showing an aggregate view. Okay. Now we just have the market. It's just the historical best bid and offer and seeing exactly what occurred here. Okay. Uh, if I zoom in here, let's uh, zoom into this breakout here above. Uh, we can see it's pretty significant. So. Um, uh, if I zoom in here, what we're looking at here uh, is the historical best bid and offer. Okay, best offer is the red line. Okay, best bid is the green line. That's it. All right. Uh, so the, um, uh, however, and and that's that's uh, really important. And why is that? Well, look at this little uh, 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 consolidation range here. Look at the candlestick. Okay, just looks like price went straight up. Well, it didn't. Okay, it uh, it it actually um, went up for a bit. It went sideways, uh, and then it went. And then it continued on up. Okay, it broke out of this range rather quickly, and we're going to see a lot of aggressive buying pulling the market up through these areas here. Okay, uh, and um, uh, look at uh, where. And this is a strategy that we go through. Uh, look at this horizontal line here. Okay, this is a, a great example. This is why the, these microstructures matter. Okay, and this is why the candlesticks are um, giving you false representation of the price action. Here we have a microstructure. Here we broke it. Here we came back and retested the top of that structure once and twice. Actually, you know, three and four times if you really, you know, want to. I mean, precisely twice, uh, but basically four times. Okay. And we didn't find enough sellers to drive this lower. So we're going to find selling exhaustion here, most likely. Uh, and uh, and then we're probably going to see, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, back and forth and volume here. But we're going to see up in this area here, we're going to see more aggressive buying, uh, which led to the price discovery to the upside. Okay. So I don't know that, though. Um, I'm just kind of guessing here. All right. So let's uh, put on the volume dots. And, and let's take a look. Okay, so really, what occurred here? Now, now we have historical best bid and offer, and the volume that traded on it. And uh, this is uh, giving us uh, a lot of insight to uh, uh, this kind of price movement here. All right. So uh, let me actually scale this a little bit. And. Yeah, let me just don't want to. I want to arrange these dots here just a bit. Okay. All right. So here you can see them sweeping the book higher. Uh, all this aggressive buying uh, taking place. And then we just see this consolidation range. And then again here, they swept the book. Now, here's where the significant volume actually traded. Okay, So here is a, like this kind of back and forth area. 
Uh, and then uh, significant new buying, lifting the market, uh, lifting the offer higher. And uh, and here's our little retest here, okay? Actually, a little bit of volume here. I'm a little surprised to see it. Uh, th this is a good example of the exhaustion I was looking for. Uh, we see that there's no seller, sellers down here. We, the the, uh, the best bid tested down here, but it didn't find anyone willing to sell at that area, okay? So uh, it rotates back up. Uh, to find uh, uh, liquidity. It's looking for liquidity. And uh, uh, it found some sellers down here, but uh, they, they got um, uh, pretty pretty trapped here. Uh, and, um, uh, you know, we see the breakdown here. This is a re this some nice action here, uh, some back and forth here, very, very quickly uh, in Bitcoin. Uh, we moved back down. We rejected here, okay, traded right back up into the range. Okay, uh, this is a pattern we look for uh, all the time uh, in the advanced order flow webinars. Understanding this rejection and, and then waiting for buyers to see if they take control, and they did, uh, and uh, and they definitely took control in this area at the point of control, which is going to be the most traded volume for this range. Okay, this is just auction market theory that I'm covering, but we're visualizing it here in Bookmap, uh, and then you see the continuation to the upside. Okay, so um, uh, very indicative of a trend. Here's our clusters of more buying at higher highs and look at the selling at these little areas here. There's very little, okay? It is trending. Uh, and uh, uh, if we zoom out now a little bit uh, and we put all of this kind of uh, uh, together, uh, we're starting to understand now uh, really uh, what occurred in this market. Okay, these candlesticks aren't really giving us insight here. Uh, there's all sorts of things that happened here uh, that uh, we have no clue about. Uh, and offering more transparency like this is going to give you that insight to make more informed trading decisions. Okay, just one more thing. Let me just zoom into this little low here. And I just want to show you the volume dots uh, and really what's occurring here. So these, just the two elements that I'm going over. Uh, historical uh, best bid and offer, okay, the best offer is the red line, the green line is the best bid, and these dots here, the, the, this is, uh, these are transactions on best bid and offer. Okay. Green dot is a market buy, aggressive market buy, it's aggressive because it crosses the spread, uh, they paid up for it, uh, and they didn't provide liquidity, they actually took liquidity, okay, that's why it's aggressive. Uh, they want it in no matter what. And they, and they just hit market buy. Uh, and then the same for uh, sell. They hit the market sell button and they took liquidity off of the best bid. Okay. Now, all of that's great, uh, but there's one more element here uh, that's important. And let's take off the candlesticks. Okay. Uh, and uh, what is that element? Well, it's outside of the transactions. Okay. It's the auction. Hey, where were they bidding and offering? Okay, well, uh, that is usually how, what we, um, how, how we usually access that data uh, is in the dome. Okay, the, um, uh, the dome is, is here in Bookmap, okay, the current order book. And uh, uh, this is uh, the depth of market, okay? We, we can understand where the majority of these traders are lining up to bid and offer. Okay, now it looks um, a little odd here, maybe in uh, uh, the current this cryptocurrency, but uh, look at the uh, uh, all of these uh, people here on the uh, on the offer, uh, all of these contracts here. Okay, at thirteen six hundred. Okay, there's a lot of uh, a lot of traders up here wanting to sell at this level. Okay, and you can see how the buyers are nibbling away at them, trying to trade through this area. Okay, and they may win this battle. Okay, now the problem with this dome here is we just don't know. Like, look at how quickly these numbers change. Right, you'd have to remember these areas and uh, uh, really what occurred, uh, how much liquidity was there, what about on the other side on the bid, uh, uh, what were they front running uh, some of these areas or were they, um, uh, you know, chasing? Uh, we want to understand the auction and the intent of these traders at these levels. Right, and uh, that would be rather difficult. You'd have to memorize these areas and the behavior here. 
this is where bookmap solves that issue because we record that behavior. Okay, so areas of high liquidity are painted in this window here in the heat map. And uh, we, can, we can now see uh, the um, uh, areas of high liquidity uh, are, are orange here, right? And uh, let's just zoom vertically a little bit, okay? Other areas are down here of liquidity, okay? On the bid, you can see that changing and fluctuating right now, uh, 13,300, okay, 400. Uh, so uh, what, where this gets really insightful and helps us is that this data in this window here, this graphical representation of this liquidity in the limit order book here is recorded uh, to the left of this vertical white line. Okay, so we can see exactly uh, what the uh, uh, historical uh, auction looked like here. Uh, and that's uh, that's really insightful because look look how we just traded up into these this area here, and the um, they stayed in that book. They did not trade through this high level of liquidity here at thirteen six hundred. They tried. This was completely absorbed up here, uh, and uh, not enough buyers. Okay, so uh, we rotate lower here, and the sellers take control at this area here at thirteen five hundred, and uh, we're not, we're now below it. Okay, doesn't mean that uh, uh, the uh, buyers might mount another attack here on this uh, li high liquidity up here. It's, uh, you know, we're still trending up. Okay, we made an equal high or slightly higher high here. So we're still in a trend. But um, uh, we can see that uh, these, did these players up here, did they have intent to trade? And the, the answer is yes, absolutely. No question about it. They stayed in the book. Okay. Now we can understand why this, this uh, little sell-off took place here, right? That would be rather difficult to read if you didn't have this uh, uh, depth of market and historical depth of market, okay? So that's how Bookmap can help you. Uh, and uh, if you're up at a level of your interest in trading, now you now have insight to the intent of traders selling up here with their limit orders, okay? All right. Well, uh, uh, just interesting stuff. I'm just fascinated by this. Uh, look, look at all this um, absorption on the way down here, uh, and uh, very indicative of a trend uh, in a in a downward trending market. You, you'll see these areas of absorption. Uh, they're trading into them and through them, uh, and then finally we get down here. Uh, last bit of absorption you can see. And then uh, buyers turn around and uh, just hit the, uh, or lift the offer uh, really quickly, okay? And uh, nice clusters of volume up here in these areas. Just great stuff to see. It's so, you know, I love looking at the, uh, some of these thinner markets and uh, equities uh, especially, and um, uh, just the insight. Now I'm, I'm really digging uh, the way that, uh, uh, Bookmap is visualizing the uh, liquidity here uh, in the cryptocurrencies as well. Uh, a lot of insight here. Uh, it's just really, just just really, really good examples of things. Okay, so for example, uh, let's let's take a look here. Uh, and I covered this in the advanced order flow webinar. Okay, note this price action here. Okay, this is here's your best uh, best bid, the green line, best offer, red. Uh, this is a sweep of the book. Okay. This is what we go through in the educational course uh, in detail, understanding just basic market mechanics, but they're so insightful. Uh, it's usually how we move to a new trading level uh, is uh, with a, a really aggressive uh, and abrupt sweep of the book. Okay. Sellers came in and they took liquidity at every single price level all the way down to this price here of uh, 13344 Okay. And you, here's the offer at this time, okay? And the offer stayed here as the book swept, so this is the spread, okay? Uh, just beautiful visualization, understanding uh, really the basics and, and uh, uh, in these markets and really how they operate. Uh, and then uh, someone someone did, uh, you know, the, the, um, uh, the offer uh, did get lower here, and then uh, the buyer started to step in here, you can see a little bit. 
All right. So uh, let's uh, let's wrap it up. Uh, you guys have the link here to the uh, uh, next webinar. I'll paste it in again if you came in late. So uh, there you go. Uh, and uh, we'll, we'll stop this webinar and we'll jump over to the next one. Okay. Thanks, guys.